What's up guys, Blake here from GodOfVaping.com and today I'm doing a special review for you guys of the Metropolis tank from Adam Vapes. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. Now as you guys can see, I've taken you onto the beach with me. And the reason why I have is because I think this tank deserves something more than my normal reviews. The reason why I say that is because finally, I found a tank that beat my beloved Top Tank Mini. You see, for me, it's not about brand name, it's quality and performance. And even though we talked about how much we love Kanger, at the end of the day, the only thing we care about is the quality and the way it performs, as well as the price. The reason why I love my Top Tank Mini so much is because it performs great. It wicks consistently, it's got just the right amount of airflow, and you have to admit, the appearance looks good as well. And guys, with this Metropolis tank from Atom Vapes, it beats all of that. It obviously has the good looks, it has the performance, the quality is certainly there, and the price is spot on. So without any further ado guys, let's dive down and take a closer look at this beautiful, very beautiful Metropolis tank from Adam Vapes. Alright guys, so you are looking at the packaging for the Metropolis tank by Adam Vapes. As you can see, we have the Metropolis tank here, and then we have the Metropolis name. On one side, you can see that we have a bit of information. and the other side, we have the tank again and the Metropolis name once again. Now, when we open this bad boy up, the first thing you're gonna see is this plastic casing. And in that plastic casing, guys, we have a spare Pirates glass piece. We have the Metropolis tank itself. And then we also have some extra O-rings that's included. Now, if you look in that Metropolis box, we also have a Metropolis guide. All right, guys, and now you are looking at the actual Metropolis tank. As you guys can see, it uses this rubber ring that says Adam on it. And let me be the first to tell you this rubber ring is annoying because it just adjusts the airflow too easy. And you also can see that it uses this Pirates glass, which is a bell cap. It has a four mil elo capacity. And then it also has this wide bore drip tip here at the top. Now this tank is bottom fill only. So once you unscrew it like so, You'll be able to fill from there, and here is your G clapping coil. As you can see, it's going to wick consistently because it's got those big juice holes. And this coil is the G clapping coil, so it is clapped in wire. And again, you can also see that it's a 0.5 ohm coil, which allows you to range from 25 to 45 watts. And this coil is 24 karat gold. And that's about it for the Metropolis tank, guys. This thing is an absolute beauty. All right guys, so you just got a close up look at the Metropolis tank from Adam Vapes. And you've got to admit, this tank is one badass looking tank. And not only does it look good, but it also performs just as well. So guys, just to give you a little bit of information about this tank, it is constructed of stainless steel. The majority of it has a bell cap, which is Pirate's glass. It's coated in 24 karat gold for the gold version, and then stainless steel, basically silver for the stainless steel version. The top drip tip and glass is all one piece. The Metropolis kit includes a 0.5 ohm coil that will allow you to range from 25 to 45 watts, and that coil happens to be a G Clapman coil, which is 24 karat gold. But the great thing about this tank that gets me so excited is that it allows you to use the 0.5 ohm OCC square coils. And as you guys know, I'm all about those square coils. I think they just wick consistently. And even though I do like those 0.5 ohm G clapping coils from Adam Bates, I prefer to use these square coils just as I have with all my other tanks. Now the Metropolis tank has a dual airflow. It's much like the sub tank mini. However, the only difference is here is how you actually adjust your airflow, the appearance, and also that the Metropolis uses a bell cap. Another great thing about this tank is that it has a four mil elical capacity and the drip tip has a wide bore, which means you won't be burning your lips, but you also get a good vapor production. Now, the only thing that I can say bad about this tank is the airflow. Even though the airflow is good, it's the airflow ring that really fucks this deal up. The airflow ring is made of rubber for some reason, and it slides very easily. 
like right now if you just look real close you can see I'm just turning that with ease so if you just accidentally bump it then you're gonna have restricted airflow so my advice for Adam vapes is next time when you come out with a version 2 of this if you do then use a metal airflow ring one that locks in place so we can't accidentally adjust our airflow so guys that's about it for this metropolis tank from adam vapes i got to say i am in love with this tank i've been using it while we've been in destin florida with my family and i've been nothing but pleased so before we go i want to show you guys the clouds that i'm producing with this Now just to let you guys know, I'm at 41 watts and I'm using those 0 0.5 ohm OCC coils. And there you have it guys. Thank you for coming to Destin, Florida with me and my family. We've had a great time here and I'm super stoked that I could actually do this review for you guys here on the beach. If you guys want to pick up this Metropolis tank by Adam Vapes, I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you're watching this on GuideToVaping.com, I'll leave a link in the post. So as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. So until next time, guys, vape on.